refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Though I'm reading, I'll be using it to pray also and prophesy. It says, therefore will not fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. I don't know what condition you can call that. The mountains are quaking, they're swelling, they're trembling, there's a tsunami, there's an earthquake, and in fact the earth is being removed. So what happens? He says, there's still a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. Say, God is still in the midst of that tremor, that turbulence, that crisis, that fire, like we saw in the days of Nebuchadnezzar. He said, God is inside the place. So, it's trembling, it's rumbling, it's collapsing. Everything is falling apart. He said, but God is inside that place. Then why has he not done anything? Because God is in her midst, she will still not be moved, despite the fact that nothing seems to be working. God is in just before the close of the day. I'll stop there. It's telling you the God of the last minute and everything is just collapsing. The earth is being removed. Nothing seems to be. Electricity bill is there. Boko Haram there. It honestly looks like God. But he said, no, he's still there. He's still in there. Then why has he not done anything? He said, I'm the God of the last minute. When you think it's all over, he's just going to step in and redress everything. And that's how it's going to be in your situation before. In the name of Jesus, in the midst of when it looks not working, you will hear good. You will testify before the end of you will enter to laugh it you will enter 2022 dancing you will enter 2022 rejoicing in the name of jesus in john 11 lazarus had been sick and they sent for the lord at least it's not as bad as it seems to have shown up on time, things do not have worse. Then Lazarus died. And verse 20 that Jesus, when I met him, Mary still in the house, and said, Matter unto Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here since March, things would not have gone this bad. Jesus said, December 30 is still okay for me, and I'll redress it. Like I came in January. Yes. Amen. He said, my brother will not have died. What you need is your brother to be around. Whether healing by sick or raising from the dead. Either way, the target will be surpassed. Amen. It will be met and surpassed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. While sharing this, I want to remind you of our sister's testimony. Who buys, who sells goods, and December is their best time. And first, from they expect the buoyancy from late November, and late November nobody was coming. First week in December, nobody showed up. Market was dull. Second week in December, what's going on? And third week, God said, if I let them come from November, you'll be stressed. <laughs> And just before Christmas, one person shows up and clears all the goods from beginning of November to January. 
with a check and it was all over. Because said, why do you want to stress with 200 customers? Why don't you take one customer that will surpass 200 customers? So you are not running up and down doing for this. You just do one and everything is met. That's what I'm talking about. And it's going to happen this year. In the name of Jesus. And like Martha, I only wish you had come before. Jesus said, leave that story. I am here. Say, boy, you have come late. Say, I'm never late. It looks late, but I'm not late. I'm on course and I'm on time. And you all know the story. Lazarus was raised back to life and joined the sisters again and they continued having a good time. In Matthew 20, from verse 1 to 14, I will not read where the story of the laborers and the vineyard. The Lord hired one from the beginning of the day and paid him a dinner us a day. Others were by noon idle. He hired them and they got a dinner us a day. Some was getting to evening. He hired them a dinner us a day. Then one person, some people, one hour to close it. One hour to close it. So why is he saying about it? He said, then come and work. And he paid them. What? Is the God of the last moment. And I'm still going to say something about that last moment. And he paid them a dinner us a day. Other began to grumble. We have been selling from January, rumbling account. You only give this person one sale in December, and it covers three years. Just last, he said, Why is your eye evil to question my lifestyle? That's me. That's me. He's enjoying the God of the last minute. You will enjoy the God of the last minute. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says it's a three-day journey. Jonah began to enter in the evening of the what? The first day, not the second day. In John chapter 2, the first miracle Jesus did at the wedding feast of Galilee. The Bible says, now this after they have drank the water, he was exhausted. The last minute, they call on Jesus as I call on him on your behalf. He said, what's with water? Give to the governor. Then the governor said, every man beginning of a feast this is the order sets the wine first then the bad wine last why have you saved the order so the last minute enjoy it's not just god of the last minute he gives the best to the last that's why i said the last shall be the first. You will not only enter with your testimony, you will enter it in grand star. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I prophesy. Let the words I speak be spirit and be life unto you. I prophesy into your life. He will cause men to go line remove replace take and you you will rejoice you before the end have the best in the name of Jesus Amen the God of the last Jesus. 
according to grace. of their challenges. You see them, they are fighting for gay rights, fighting for this. But you see Africans, when you are still believing God to buy fuel, they degenerate them. Gay is not his problem. He's thinking of, of the next thing. So, so
Give him one. Give him one. is that
That's why and that's the better because I can We took part of it in the Bible reading, but now we're praying it. I pray in the Bible reading that every pending project or every good project that has started in your life every good work, every good thing, every progress made that he that though has called will come to a fruitful completion Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, some because of the time of life, for example, somebody who takes in now can't give birth before the end of the year, but will cross in progressing will cross into the air, what? Progressing. To finish, will finish. <laughs> it will finish. It will finish well. In the name of Jesus. Because you're not going to be mocked. Uncle, a mockery. So which of you wanting to build a house, do not first sit down to count the cost. Lest it builds halfway, then people begin to mock you. As your father cannot be mocked, not mocked, you will not be mocked. The Philippians 1 6 says, Who starts a you? He doesn't abandon it, he finishes it. We're going to pray, Lord, finish it this year. If Proverbs 23 18 says, Your expectations will not be disappointed, Zechariah said, The hands of Zerubbabel may have started this building. That same hand will what? Finish it. It's a finisher. If they tell you, you have these phones with us and we're to pay. Look, listen. All is going to do, what is going to do? The higher zeros, the higher zeros, who are carriers of the finishing project, they are not going to sleep again because the Bible says the king I has zeros not sleep. He was troubled in his spirit. So they're going to be troubled in their spirit. Listen, Amen. if they're the geos of the world, they will be troubled. Amen. Why am I troubled, Lord? It's a young man that needs this issue in his life sorted down. I watched somebody buy a public uh, a council flat on a bank holiday in London. It is not done. Established societies with structures where they don't in my presence, it was done. They opened a council on a bank in England. That's year 2000. Happened 
I saw it. Say it has never happened. If God has to do that, he will do it. Amen. But that project must finish. Amen. I must finish well. Amen. I must finish with your prophet. Amen. And it will finish this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Mangali katura bakayan de lekede. O kogu kachaka ya magade. Kunda la kata ya bakari ya bakakata tata. Koro bo 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 Mokolo bondo lo bo koko tia e kala ba 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 bondo lo bo koko kota kata ya mande kura ba 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 you know, Moses doesn't have a finisher's anointing, so there's nothing he can do to finish a project. Joshua, I said, you will divide. Moses will take you, but you will divide. I pray for a finisher's anointing to settle on your head. That anointing will trouble every person that needs to put his hand to a pen, that needs to do something, it will trouble them. It will trouble them. Kuyana kata 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 kato. Hey, yeleka mukutu. Karaba ba 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 robo koko te. Kali moko sovro. Kanda la ba kata ya ba kosongo. Iya kata ya mongo. Kali moko se. Karaba ba 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 ba. Korobo koko se ketia. In Jesus' name we have prayed. You know, in Acts four, a divided beat. Peter, they just healed an impotent man. They were put in prison. They faced the Sanhedrin. But they prayed a prayer. They said, Lord, they didn't even ask God to deliver them from the Sanhedrin. He said, grant us boldness to speak. But when we speak, make sure you confirm our word with signs and wonder. Meaning they were praying for the miraculous. And you don't you have to pray for miracles. You have to pray for the miraculous. It's not... Um, Something just city falls. No, you have to pray for it. Elijah prayed, then the miraculous happened. The Bible says in James 5, he prayed. The miracles followed. So you have to pray for the miraculous. I want you to pray for the miraculous in your life this year. Miracles! Aliva Sakatata. Kamo Sakatacha. Kangali Kasomo. Kachacha Chamo Komode. Nagagaga chakula, nagagaga jaga jaga lebo. No go la he ki ya kutu ku ya kacha kacha kolobo kote. Ola mo kose keke te ki kachu ko ma kacha kacha kabo koko lege jege 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 de. Aya kaga 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 kabo koko 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 kacha kacha. Nagagaga kaga logo, iya kaga kaga logo. Aya kata cha 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 cha. Magagagaga. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus kept saying, The Son of Man shall be betrayed. He will rise three, after three days. When they got to the point, he had to pray three hours. He had to pray. Despite all the confession, he still had to pray. I want to encourage you, pray. Pray. Amen? Amen. Amen. And amen. There's a sweet, sweet spirit. In this place, and I know that is the place of the Lord. 
Sakata ya bakulu mu dehege mundo loko kiananga kabu sekeli bakacha guess to the end of the year, it won't be a regular teaching. I found out the days we're in, I don't know who you want to preach to that may not even have an idea what you're saying. Say, so, you know, I want to talk to you about, you know, when Elijah, he said, is it the one with the beard? Say yes. <laughs> if you're not careful, if you're not sound, they may even correct you. But what they will not argue is undeniable miracles, signs. No one says a notable miracle has happened, and we cannot deny it. They don't argue with miracles, they argue with works. No, leave it that way. Actually, you people don't understand. People don't, you see, your Bible. Let me explain what your Bible is. Because I went to Christian school, that's when arguments start. When miracle happens, all mouths shut and all heads bow. Bible says, when Moses went to Egypt. I was talking, the Lord sent me. He said, eh? He sent you from where? While talking, he put his hand in. Brother, what was white leopard. said, eh? We've not seen this in 400 years. So put it back. No, ma. So what's going on? Through his rod, became snake. Touched him by the tail. He didn't bite him. Became a rod. Ah. The Bible says when he took water from the rod and poured, it became blood. The Bible says all the elders did what? They bowed. They didn't bow when he was talking. They did what? They bow. God will make people bow. Yeah. At your feet. Yeah. Said, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan to do what? To come and bow and worship me. Where? Not in the synagogue. At your feet. The only thing that will make them do that is miracles in your life. Yeah. And it will happen. 
<clears throat> in the name of Jesus. In the Bible reading, I call it the God of the last minute. In today's message, I call it the God of the extra. I shared with you this dream I had earlier in the year. I was at a function. And I was taken to the storage. The storage had a cold room, freezers, fridge. When I opened the storage, I saw ice cream. I said, what is this? What is this? Then to the freezers, ice creams. What is this? Then to the fridge, ice cream. Everywhere was packed with ice cream. Now, you don't invite people to a party for serving ice cream. Ice cream is extra. When you invite them, the first thing you are running around for is food, rice, chicken, turkey, and then drink. When you have a little extra, then you can buy ice cream. Nobody buys ice cream when there's no food. So for me to see ice cream, then the issue of food is not of debate. That means it's extra upon extra. You know, I've had this dream for a long time. I've shared it before. And more light is coming. And more light is coming. What God told me, he said, if you are here and you're looking up to me, principally for your needs, say you, something has missed somewhere. Say what you should be talking about is the extra because that's what I reveal to you. I can't reveal extra when the food is not there. It means the food has already been sorted out. Say so what I'm visiting you with is extra. Then in that dream, I think it was you I told, I said, make sure the light does not go off. And if they take life, put on the gen immediately. There must be light 24-7. So that is the consecration to keep the extras going. Now it's up to me to know what that light is. But those ice cream, I want to ask you, in the storage, massive, probably like 20, 30,000 bowls. In the freezer, are they for me? Can they be for me? They can't be for one person. Who will they be for? Outsiders? No. Who will they be for? For you. Will I give to us? No, I won't. I will give to outsiders when you are overfilled. That's why Jesus told the Syrophoenician woman. He said, no, it's for the children. Not for dogs. Then she said, I admit I'm not in your inner circle. I'm a dog. But at least the one you've eaten remaining. Give me the crumb. I'm okay. So what is for outside are crumbs? What is for you is the main menu. From today, your story will change. From today, your story will change. From today, your story will change. The lines will fall onto you in pleasant places. In the name of Jesus, whoever is your carrier of peace, that had been coming for you and the star disappeared. The Bible says, and they saw the star again. That star will reappear for them. Their steps will be ordered to you. They will deliver into your hands what is yours. In the name of Jesus. In Ephesians 3.20, unto him that is able to do exceedingly, check the English, abundantly, above, so that means it's going beyond the threshold, the mark. Now, how is it going above the mark? Exceedingly, abundantly, above. If we then put above, we say maybe it's below. What you can ask is not enough. Or what? Think. <coughs> the God of the extra. You will enter New Year with extra. <laughs> You will enter New Year with the extra. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In 1 Kings 3, I told you I'm not preaching. I'm not even sure whether I should be reading it or I should not. 1 Kings 3. I read from verse 5. And Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night 
and ask what, ask what I will give you. Solomon said, you have shown me thy servant, you have shown my servant, my father David, great mercy as he walked before you in truth, in righteousness, in uprightness of heart with thee. You kept him for him this great kindness. You have given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. Now, Lord, hold on. When I look at what is on ground, <laughs> the crisis, the challenges, the need on ground, and I look at my stature compared to my father, I'm but a little child. I can't handle it. So I ask concerning this, your great people, give me an understanding heart to judge your people that may discern between good and bad. Who is able to judge these guys? So pre he's preoccupied with solving the current challenges. God said, I'm going to add. There's extra. That's what you have asked. Now watch what I'm bringing. And the speech pleased the Lord. Solomon asked this thing. The Lord said to him, because you've asked this thing, you have not asked for thyself long life, neither have you asked for riches for yourself, and has asked for the life of the enemies, but you have asked for thyself understanding to design judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy work. So it means all your expectations for the year, they are accomplished. You say amen. Yeah. It means all your expectations for the year are met. Yeah. Then the Lord now say, now I'm going to give you what you did not ask. I'm putting extra. Because you didn't ask for this. What you ask is the issue before you. What you ask for is the challenges before you. What you ask for is what is the project. That's what you ask for. Now, I am going to do what you did. I'm going to, wait, first and foremost, I have done what you asked for. Amen. Now, I'm going to do what you did not ask. Amen. Then the Lord said, I've given thee. <coughs> the way I will do it, what I'm going to ask, that there will be no king like unto you all your days. Kai, my goodness, give him riches. Length of days, peace with any, and started adding the things the man would even ask. He said, I'm giving you all this extra so that when I add what I'm adding, there'll be no king before you, there'll be no king after you again. Say after me, say the God of the extras. Say, do extra in my life as you reveal to your servant. Ice cream is extra. Did you hear me? Look at me. Ice cream is extra. Now Francis went to visit a young man. He was bitter. He said, at my age, I'm even yet to be in a relationship. I should have been <coughs> talking about taking children to secondary school. He said, I'm bitter. You were there. He said, I'm bitter. I said, would you like to have twins or let's make a triplet so God can add extra for you? He looked at me. He didn't answer because he didn't believe. He didn't ask for that. And we prayed. <laughs> Just deliver triplets. Two boys and a girl, triplets. It's planning name. I say his name in your plan. You better go and sit down and plan. So feed one mouth, you know what it is like. Yeah. Better leave. I'm yeah. having a meeting within this classroom. So boy, leave, leave the mimi. Yeah. Who will pronounce name? <laughs> you need coins. And both God will bless you. Yeah. But that is it. I'm going to give card that those who want to enter. I say you don't need card for me to enter. You need coins now. Did you hear me? Yeah. Triplets. Ask those who have one, they'll tell you what it is. To raise one. But they had to put extra to redeem the times. Kaya Mataya. It's an anointing. What kid? And you don't know me. It's that anointing. You were there now. It's that anointing. Ah, then it has to work for you. It must work for you. It must work for you. It will 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 work for you. In the name of Jesus. You know, there are quite a lot of miracles in the Bible. I remember the miracle of the widow Zarephath. But there was no extra there. That's not what we're talking about. We can't even use that. It's not applicable. She cried out for sustenance and they gave her sustenance. If they gave her what fed the city, then we say that's the extra. Said, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. 
I, I didn't plan this. Please, the whole city, come and line up. You disturb my life, so I'll put the food there. Just be eating and be eating. That's what, then I, I get it. But that's just ordinary sustenance. That's not what he revealed to me. He revealed extra. In 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 1, God, let this grace be released. Kayamoto, Nakayamuti. In 2 Kings chapter 4, I read from verse 1, there cried a woman. Or the wives of the sons of the prophets to Elisha, say, thy servant, my husband is dead. And you know how this man did fear the Lord. The creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. What's her cry? Save me from death. Listen to the cry. Don't, he didn't, she didn't ask for sustenance. Save me from what? Death. It's, they are about to take my sons. They are the collateral. I need an intervention to save me from a financial debt. And Elisha said to her, what shall I do unto you? Tell me. What do you have in the house? She said, the handmaid had nothing in the house save a tiny pot of oil. He said, that's enough. Go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. And when thou art coming, Thou shalt shut the door upon, thee, upon thy sons. You poured unto all those vessels. You set aside that which is full. So she went from him, shut the door. What is the miracle for? To cancel the debt. Yes. Upon her sons who brought the vessels to her, she poured out. It came to pass when the vessels were full that she said to her son, Bring me another vessel. He said to her, There is not a vessel more. The oil stayed. She came and told the man of God. He said, Sell the oil. Pay the debt. There's an extra. Live for the rest of your life on the rest. So he didn't address just the debt. She didn't ask. She didn't ask to live. She said, save me from death. I call on God, the father of our Lord Jesus, the owner of this grace and the giver of it. To intervene in your life. Go beyond what you are looking up to him for. Amen. And add Amen. that which you have not asked. Amen. Oh God, you revealed it to me. Amen. It's your will for your people. And I'm praying. Amen. Do what they asked. Amen. And do what they have not asked. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I want to show you the proportion of the extra. John 6. I'm closing, though. Know, I don't have much talk. I'll read from verse 5. I want to look at the proportion of the extra. In reality, to in any reference point we are taking it from, we can't judge the proportion of the extra in that woman's life. But we know it's heavy because I don't think she's an old woman and her son, are yet to, in those days, they have children already. At 21, you are married, a man. At 16, a lady is married. So I guess they're not up to 21 because they should have been married with children. They don't have, there's no grandchildren. So maybe they're under 21. So I want to assume 18 to 20, she's in her 30s. Now, what will you leave till 90 on? That you will not work for the rest of your life. But we can't truly estimate the value of the extra until we look at something we can measure with. Because now we're going to measure five loaves and twelve baskets. We want to measure five loaves and what? Twelve baskets. Now the issue now is what's the size of the basket? I want to assume that what will take an abled man to carry on his head is not small. Because the disciples carried it. On their, they didn't 
hold it like this, small basket. No, no. <laughs> they carry it on their head. So if we can't quantify the extra from the woman, the widow, though we know that he said, it is only for the what? For the rest of your life. God. That means she doesn't need to walk again till she dies. Amen. Just selling what is on ground. Eh? But let's look at John <coughs> 6 from verse 5. When Jesus lifted up his eyes, he saw a great company come to him. He said to Philip, when shall we buy bread? <laughs> this may, and he said to him to prove him. For he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, said, Oga, $200,000 of bread is okay for this. They eat too much. They eat mountainous food. <laughs> that will scare God anyway. Don't worry, it can scare you. But it doesn't scare God. And that every one of them may what? Take a little. Please take note. 200 penny worth. That means they are not to eat to be full. 200 penny worth. So if we look at the amount of money we have to spend. For someone to just have like one or two bites so that they don't, the issue is not to feed them. The issue is they've been with him for three days. He said, if I send them going, they might what? Faint on the way. So it's not to feed them, it's to keep them from fainting. So just take two, three bites. Ah, at least you will collapse on the way. He said, if we are to follow that, 200 penny worth is not enough. See his own thinking. <clears throat> one of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, there's a lad here which had five barley loaves, and I look how they put it, too small, they didn't put two fish, too small, they are defining it that is a strangulated situation, it is a situation for survival, it's a situation calling for survival, two small fish, Jesus said, it's more than enough. He said, but what are these among so many? Then Jesus said, make the men sit down. There was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number, about 5,000. So there beside women and children, 5,000 men. Jesus took the loaves. When had given thanks, distributed to the disciples. Disciples to them that were sit down. Likewise of the fish, as much as they would when they were filled. So it's not... It's to eat is to be eaten and be. Please say it again. Oh, you be ku be ku a yo pa. Glutomy. All their tummy shut out. Even the man couldn't walk again. Managing to struggling to walk. Everyone is walking slowly. Nobody can run. <clears throat> when they were filled, he said to his disciples, gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore, they gathered themselves, filled 12 baskets with the fragments of five baskets. So that's the proportion of the extra. So we can't even measure it too again with mathematics because if we measure five loaves and, no, not two fish, please. Two small, please put small there. Two shekene fish like this. Then men are gathering 12 baskets to carry away. That's the extra. So the extra cannot be compared to the main substance. They have no basis. So the extra is a miracle. The extra is what? It's called an act of God. Not explicable by natural or scientific intervention. Science cannot explain it. A situation that defies human reasoning by any known law. That's what you're about to experience. Yes. If you didn't reveal it to me, I said we are hyping ourselves. Let's go and trust God. Let's go and fast and pray. 
but it is holding clay. Clay. This is my will for this assembly, not for the church, for this assembly. It says in Romans, I'm trying to remember the chapter, it says the kingdom of God is not in word, but in demonstration of power. And like I told you, the days we are in is not long speech. You know, I want to explain to you, you tell an unbeliever how Jesus was born in Jerusalem. He said, excuse me, in Jerusalem, sir, I've been there. I went to pilgrimage now. No, I'm not a Christian, but I went there. I was thought, did you see that? You have not been there. You know, there's trouble. Now, you want to preach to somebody that Jesus was born by divine birth. So, you now said Jerusalem. I said, oh, God, have you been to Jerusalem? I said, I've been there. You know, that time we went to Turkey, so we passed by Israel. So, I now said, I want to see the place. I saw it, oh. Have you seen it before? You know, the gospel has, the preaching has changed. It has taken over the preaching from you. Sure, you know that. Yes. The, right there, there, you now want to explain. Say, ah, say, leave that one. Then you speak maybe you Ah, I remember I go to the BJS. Ari go well, Ari. He has taken the preaching from you. But when you show him the mighty miracle of God, say, yeah. Like he said in Psalm 126, he say, only God could have done this. <laughs> I want you to start praying. I told you, they pray for miracles in the Bible. All right? I want us to pray. We're praying in line with his will. Because he revealed it. His will is either the written or the revealed. There are two kinds of will of God. The written will, which is in the word, or the revealed will, which is not in the word, or which can be attested from the word. I'm praying now in line with the revealed word. There will be change in the atmosphere. A change is going to happen in the atmosphere. As I'm speaking, begin to pray while seated on that chair. Lukanga takacha, mukunda, kanali kacha, komo ndoko teke, kondo loku sakataya. Let me pause a bit. You've all heard the story of Aura Roberts when he was building the university and began to pray. And began, and Jesus appeared unto him. He said, Aura Roberts is the university. It will be completed. I saw a being beside this, the angel I brought to live with you to, in answer to your prayers. He's going to get the job done. There are angels. Some of them, they have seen one. The face is gold. Gold. So I screamed. That's the first time I was screaming. I've seen an angel. I screamed because the face is gold. Gold, chiseled. It didn't look, but it's a being. It's a living being, but it's chiseled. I saw the body. It's chiseled like they've used chisel, not like human beings. That's, it's chiseled. It's gold. These are beings that when you pray, you will activate them. They will come and walk on your behalf. Ah, we're going to pray. Mungudakata. <laughs> So as soon as Jesus disappeared, the angel looked at him. He said, what's going on? He said, I'm waiting for instruction. He said, get the job done. He said, disappeared. He said, from that week, things started working. Everything started working. That's how our robot university was completed. It was not completed by human struggle. It was completed by host of heaven that answered to a particular grace. I'm asking the host of heaven that answered to the grace of the extra to be released on your behalf. <coughs> in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now begin to pray. Lakuso brodo ko zeketete. Hakara ba 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 ba. Moko ya ka ya ka ta 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 ta. Bo ya ka li ne rekete. O lakusa ka ta ka yande. Extra, extra, extra. Molusa ka ta ya. The God of extra. Mukura kata kata kali kaboko toro boko koteke. Makaya kata tata. 
Elle est bon conseil. 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 Elle Uya kacha 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 Oya kacha kacha Kondo lokusa Hallelujah Now if Ephesians 3, 6, 20 says On Twitter is able to do it, it says what you can ask or think That means you don't ask for it Because it's beyond your comprehension You only demand for the extra But you can't say Lord eh, <laughs> You know I just pay rent The extra I want is to uh, Have three houses and Lord said, that's not extra. That's extra to you. It's not extra to me. Because he's the one to determine the extra. So you can't ask. So what you do, you just pray for the extra. You can't say, this is the extra. I want. No, 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 no. You can't say it. He's the one that will determine the extra. That's why he told Solomon, this is what I've determined for you. I'm going to add this, 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 and this. That man can't ask for 12 baskets extra. It's not possible. All he's going to ask, give me back my five loaves. Please make the fish slightly bigger. Say after me, say the God of extra. God of extra. As, you as you have revealed. Do the extra. Do the extra. In, my life. In my life. First and foremost, First and foremost. address my expectation. Yes. Meet them, O oh God. Yes. Then give me the extra. Yes. According to your will. Yes. Give me the extra. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Kalusa, yes. be praying. Malaba Ayama kaya kama kata yama kata yama katolo ele bobo bokoto ora baba baba. Eli makata yama gali makata yama gaja 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 ora baba 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 ora bobo 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 ora bobo bokote ayakala mande oyakala manga la kata naga yaga 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 ya ayaga maga gorobo naga gaga gaga ga naga gaga gaja kacha. Korobo bobo kote, korobondo lobo kohiya, korobondo lobo kose, kali bakata ya bakata ta, kolo bobo bobo bobo, kolo mokose, kaya makata ta ta cha 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 cha, olo bobo kose keri ya bakata ta. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In that vision, I was told clearly, the light must not go off. And the widow, he says, get me a pot of oil. And in the 5,000, give me five loaves and two small fish. So there is always an instruction. That's what we want to pray about now. What would you take from my hand, O oh God, that I may have the extra? I told you about a man. Started a business with a man, and according to his own story, said the wife of the man, they were working together because the man is elderly, he's a former federal minister, and he told his wife to be his director in the company, big company. So the man brought about 50 million many years back. He's, he brought the expertise, so he used to manage. <coughs> I don't know what happened between man and the wife. The wife reported him to the husband. The husband said, I want my 50 million back. He said, But I don't have money. Call the FEC chairman. Powerful man. I said, go and pick that man. <laughs> so he ran to a man in need. He said, please do me a favor. You know the EFCC chairman. Call him. Tell him. This is what happened. Let them give me time. This is how I want to be paying. I can be paying <laughs> five million per annum. He said, me, in my position, call EFCC chairman. I said, how much do you owe the man? 50 million. Take 50 million, go and pay me. It's not a loan, it's dash. No, I was there. So it's not that somebody said, I was there, I witnessed it. You see how he said, oh, and that's how he respond. He said, please, let me beg the EFC chairman that I know this man is powerful. He can even call the president and tell him to pick the chief of army staff, anybody. But this is what happened. Honestly, people don't believe my story. This woman, I say, I'm not interested in having anything with you. The husband is an old man. You are, I'm not interested. Say, no, they say she wanted that fair. That's a problem. But I can still get five million every year. I can write on that taking. I can show up the David that in 10 years his money will be paid. Please help me beg while he was talking. The man just got up. And those powerful men, they have money in the house. It's ADC then. I won't mention his name. Call him. Oh yeah, follow him. 
That time you can deposit the bank will call. They will just, just say yes and shut up. It's for me. Yes, sir. Deposit it. <coughs> Was he thinking of that? That's a listing on his mind. Oh God, say after me, say, Heavenly Father. What do you want? That you may give me the extra you have revealed. Make it plain to me. I now go further, Father. If you truly meant what you showed this man, and you are not trying to deceive us, but you meant to give us that extra, which I want, then tell me what to do. And help me to do it. In the name of Jesus. You know what I just did to you now? I did what Peter did to Jesus in the boat. Say, said, Lord, if it be you, bid me to come on water. If he says no, then it is not him. He has denied himself. Right? Oh, you get the light. You're going to get the light. Now begin to pray. La rosa brakataya bande. Koluza kaya ubakatande. Makali moko se ke te 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 te. Eli manande ne ke li moko to robo bo 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 bo. Ora ba 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 ya katari bo koko soko to lo bongo le beke te. Kaya mama mama mama. Ora ba 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 ba. Oro bo 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 yo kolo bo koto lo bo koko tele ke bo koto. Eli mangali bo sufre de ke kalusa kataya. Iya mangale bo. Kura bakata ya bakoso. Eh! Kalibo suvro do kosa. Ya kalibo kotoro bondo lobo koko seketete. Kaya bakata ta 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 ta. Magagagaga jagalibo kolobo koko robo koko lobo koko te. Akarabaka katala baba 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 baba. Ikalibo kolobo kolobo koto lobo kacha kala makacha labo kolobo 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 koko kodiya. Aya kala baba 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 robo baba koto lobo kolobo 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 kodiya. Ele kete 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 kaya makata kolobo ndolo iya kata kaya molo kura baka sande ele kete kia manga le bokoto kura bakata kala baka ya mokolo bokote kele mokoso. Kalibo souvre de ketia. In Jesus' name we have prayed. You will enter the new year with all your expectations met. You will enter the new year laughing. You will enter the new year rejoicing. You will enter the new year glorifying God. Then you will enter the new year with your extras. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say the only thing is, I said, I can't say God lie. He can't lie. He can't lie. I command they turn around. In the name of Jesus the Christ. He says, no longer will you be turned forsake meaning <clears throat> before then you are termed forsaken meaning let you get on we'll sing your lady lay it's finished say you shall now be called help siba and beulah meaning sought after and delightsome as you enter the new year before oh, not as you but as you enter you enter with all the what we have said but before you enter the new year, your story will begin to change. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I'm not asking God. I cancel every plan, every operation that Satan has lined. You know, I told you one of the visions I saw. Jesus appeared to me with a scroll. Then he rolled it. And it looked like Greek or Hebrew. You know, like semi-Arabic. I don't understand. He said, these are all the plans that Satan has for you till the day of your death. Now, I couldn't read what was in that scroll, but I had an idea. So I told the Lord, I said, ah, wait, am I the only one in the earth? How can they plan this much for one person? Kill all day. <laughs> and I was looking at me like, naive. you mean this one is this naive? You mean you can be this naive? Then I woke up. All 
his plans. I cancel it in Jesus' name. It is written, the desires of the wicked shall perish. The counsel of the ungodly shall not stand. Every ungodly counsel against you, I scatter it in the name of Jesus. He says it's a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation them that trouble you. Any person, any being, spiritual or temporal, that is disturbing your life, holding back your blessings, and holding back the blessings of somebody that the blessings connected to you. From now, I decree tribulation, anguish, crisis in the life of that person. In the name of Jesus. They will lie down on waterbed. They will not sleep. They will set food before them. They will not be hungry. I remove their appetite. In the name of Jesus. When they close their eyes, it will be nightmare upon nightmare. In the name of until your case is addressed. In the name of Jesus. I call you from the north, the south, east, and west. For God has made me Lord over you. And I command you to release every blessing in your care that is meant for this world. I command them, come forth. Come forth. Come forth. In the name of Jesus. And as they come, I release them to you. Receive them. Receive them. Receive them. In the name of Jesus. You're going to enter grand style. You're not going to sneak into 2022. No way. I told you. When I was in Fountain of Life Church. There was a man disturbing my life. And I said, Lord, I want to report so and so to you. He's disturbing my life. I, when he saw me, he said, Kaji, you reported me to the money. He said, Jesus. I said, ah, Kaudi, you reported me to Jesus. I said, ah, Kaudi, you reported me to Jesus. He said, ah, And I was telling the Lord, this man is disturbing me. He said, you are highly favored. Oil is, it's an oil. It's a dew. It's a garment. Anywhere applicable. It's a wrap you round. Amen. When you turn left, a road you rain you. When you turn right, a road you rain you. You will not be stranded. Behind you, you will find help. Ahead of you, you will find help. In the name of Jesus. What, and I close with this. What was a snag in your life in 2021. For some people, it's debts. For some people, it's it differs. For some, they are used to. The, you heard what Omoti said the other time. He said the hospitals were used to us bringing our children. And when we do our you say, Ah, we've not seen you in two years. Did you travel? No, we connected grace. Because they're always going there. So when they saw them, ah, where have you been? The hospital, your bed. <laughs> we have not given it to somebody else. He's still there. He said, ah, lovely couple. Your son, you go. He said, it's fine. Ah. When they hear it, so that's how they open their mouth. In the name of Jesus. So that thing. That's not allowed you to raise your head well. Sometimes it's not even you. It could be a spouse and it's disturbing you. It could be a child, it's whatever it is. I call on God and Father of my Lord Jesus. Lord, I quote that day, September 15, 2000. And I remind you, you said clearly, when Father, I Pray. You said there shall be results. And you are not yea and nay. You are yea, yea. 
So I am reminding you of that promise. Whatever it is that has dragged these ones down, is disturbed them from lifting their head up, it's been a snag in their life. Lord, remove it. Yeah. And remove it now. Yeah. Lord, I want to remind you as you remove it, how you remove the snag, which is Lot in Abraham's life. You didn't kill Lot. Abraham was not supposed to be with Lot. So you needed to separate Lot from Abraham. You did not kill Lotto. You just blessed the two of them. And the land could no longer take the two of them. So they had to part ways. Whatever that snag is, be it in the life of the spouse, be it in their life, or their children, in their finances, in their health. And I stop with the health and I say, Lord, if it is in their health, in their body, in their career, in their business, in their job, in their home, in their family, wherever it may be, in the light of your kindness, of your mercy, and your being good, like you demonstrated to Abraham and Lot, Lord, remove it from their lives. Why well, I'm saying that if it's husband, because I don't want the husband to drop dead. It can't happen. I've, told, I've made mistakes like that before. I said, my father is sick in the hospital. I said, I decree by 12. I have spoken.